Hello. Local student Thomas Ballard asked us how to work out this specific question. How many milliliters of a 25% weight per volume dextrose solution and how many milliliters of a 10% weight per volume dextrose solution are required to produce 500 mils of a 12% of a 12 weight per volume solution? So basically, to visualize it, what we have is a 25% solution and a stock solution of 10% solution. And we want to combine the two somehow, take a bit out of that, take a bit out of that, to make a 12% solution. So there are many ways to calculate this, but the easiest way to do is to do what we call the, squ the X method. So you start off with your 25% solution, and you have your 10% solution. And what you want is the 12% solution. So what you use arrows in a cross-like formation, with that, with you end up with a ratio. So you, t using this, you do a minus. Uh, you do you take the difference between the two. So 10 and 12, there's two, and 25, the difference between those is 13. So these are actually the ratios for these respective concentrations. Now, this is just in parts. So if we do, Make it more clearly, this is 13 to 2 parts that we're going to need to make this 12% solution. This 13 being the 10% solution and 2 parts of the 25% solution. Now, in total that's 15 parts. So we are, need, we are going to use the 500ml that we need all together and split that between 15 parts. Now, after that, so you work out one part, which is 33.3. So I've just done 500 divided by 15. So once you have one part, you can work out the following respective parts for each solution. So 13 times one part for the 10% solution is 433.3 mils. Similarly, with the two part for the 25% solution, 2 times 33 is 66.6 mils solution. Now you can see that actually adds up to 500 mils, near enough, 0.9. So that's how much we actually need. So you need 66 mils of the 66 mils of the 25% solution and 433 mils of the 10% solution to make your 12% solution. I hope that helps you Tom. Thanks.